Unfortunately, no one was able to be captured. I look him clearly in the eye. I give him a short burst without aiming. And so it will be with everyone. At every corner, death awaited me. Personally, how many enemies did you destroy in this battle? Personally, four. This is epic footage of close combat that has become legendary. Ukrainian special unit fighters managed to sneak into the enemy trenches and take them by surprise. How did they do it? And how does a warrior feel when he meets the enemy face to face? Find out right now. Hi. Today we have a fighter from the 73rd Maritime Center of Special Operation Forces, a warrior with the call sign Wild One. Today we are going to talk about this fight. You're going to talk about how it felt. You're going to talk about how it went from start to finish. You're going to talk about the experience you had in this fight. What was your group's mission in this battle? Our group had to storm the enemy position, clear the trenches, and get our infantry in there, so that infantry could get further entrenched and hold the defense. We quietly approached the enemy's closest line of sight, to a contact of 15 meters, and we started going into their trenches. I went second. The first one threw grenades and I covered him. We walked along the trench, carefully slicing, shooting each corner. When we started to shoot the first corner, we heard screams and realized that the enemy was sitting there. There was a loophole dug into the left in the form of a hook. We cut the corner, we shoot. I see no one's there, but I hear screaming. I realized he's sitting around the corner. I start going in. I overtake my brother in arms and start firing. The enemy started to fall out, and I finished him off. I decided to just hide so I wouldn't be seen at the intersection. So I decided to go in where he was lying. I'm more or less hidden. I turn around to keep an open sector. I see a second body coming at me. It's a split second. I see the body, I see the target, and I start working on it. He goes down. As I recall, he was hit in the shoulder, torso, and head. He starts to go down gradually, and I keep shooting. I see a third guy running. I start shooting at the third guy. He starts to fall and let out death screams. I took a controlling shot to the head. Brains were flying all over the trench. By the way, I've got some on my boot too, from the first enemy. I wiped it off in the trench, but there's still some left. And so it will be with everyone. Tell us, as the fight went on, how did you take out the fourth enemy? We continued to hold this crossroads and waited for the rest of our comrades to come in. We had had one lightly wounded man wounded in the arm. He was successfully evacuated. He's fine. Next, we stood at the crossroads where the two enemy were lying. I wanted to throw a grenade, but I threw it badly. It bounced off one wall into the other and fell between the two bodies. I realized it was a bad idea, so we started throwing grenades over the top. Many Russians have complained in the comments that you are destroying, as it seems to them, unarmed people. It's like you were shooting boys in their panties, although the video clearly shows a red-haired dwarf with a machine gun, as he has already been nicknamed in social networks, as well as flying grenades around you. 
Also on the video, you can clearly see the detonation of something near you. Tell us about this moment. What was it? There, a video captured the moment of the outburst. A grenade fell between me and my bro. I heard a thud and the sound of something falling into the trench, and a scream from my brother. He yelled, shit! I realized everything and I'd put it all together. I ran fast through that intersection. Kept the sector at 12 o'clock. The explosion was right behind me, you could say. I ran around the corner so I wouldn't get caught in the shrapnel. I realized that the grenade had already exploded and I have to go back to my brother because I'm alone. I start to go back and at that moment there is an explosion. I back up and to my right gunpowder flashes. There was RPG powder lying on the position. There the enemy was detonating unnecessary ammunition. I realized that I can't go back and I can't go forward either because I'm alone. The main rule of CQB you can't go alone into dangerous areas that are not cleared of the enemy. I decided to wait out the moment in their loophole. I realized that I had ammunition in the magazine, but I didn't know how much was left. I decided to reload my weapon and look around. I took control of the position. It took maybe 30 seconds. I reload and I see a motherfucker coming at me in the trench. I see the enemy and it takes a split second to realize what I'm doing. He turns his head towards me. I look him clearly in the eye and give him a short burst. No aim, just from the shoulder. I started to go back to mine because I'm alone. We continued to clear the trenches from the enemy. We cleared the left and right flank. Or did you appreciate how they burrowed in? They burrowed in very well. There was a trench two meters deep, plus a breastwork. I don't know, maybe 30, 40, 50 centimeters. These are pretty deep, good trenches that saved us from their tank fire later on. So their trenches then saved you when you held that position? Yes. Before that, had you had such close contact with the enemy? I've never had such close contacts. Half a meter, one meter, two or three meters. I take it you went in completely unnoticed by the enemy? Because you can see in the video that they were just desperate. They were running and firing randomly. Whereas your actions are as appropriate, focused, and precise as possible. Tell me, how did you manage to get to their position undetected? We were moving very stealthily toward them through the wooded area. We were crawling. We were also crouching, minimizing our silhouette so that we were less visible. Because they had ATGMs and machine guns there. At what point did the Russians realize that the Ukrainians had already entered their position? Or is it so fast and unexpected that they didn't realize anything? We slowly walked up to them. It took about an hour to an hour and a half. The enemy didn't realize we were already in their trenches. They probably thought there was a firefight going on somewhere. So they just ran out to the machine guns. In this battle, were all the invaders destroyed or did anyone manage to be taken prisoner? Unfortunately, no one was able to be captured, much to my regret. You know, this video really got on the Russians' nerves. They even wrote that after this, they would not take the SSO fighters prisoner. They would destroy them on the spot. 
Do such comments influence or pressure you? I don't know who's affected by this. I'm not 15 years old to react emotionally to this in any way. I realize these are empty words that will get you nowhere. Let them try to catch someone. Let them try to kill someone. Now that you're rested, how do you view the fight? You realize that you survived not because of a miracle, but because of your skills and a cool head. I've been giving this task a lot of thought. I've been thinking about it. I've been working on my mistakes in my head. I understand the risk I was taking. I fully understand what could have happened. There was death waiting for me at every corner. Every tank shot, death could be waiting for me. We all die sooner or later. The main thing is to do more things and do more good for our country. Destroy as many invaders as possible. What message would you give to the Russians who continue to invade our land and continue to kill our people? I would like to tell you that if you want to live and do not want to die, you should stay at home with your wives and mothers. Don't come here, because sooner or later, you will all stay here, only to fertilize our land. If you enjoyed today's episode and would like me to continue doing episodes like this next, then let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment. Thank you.